It's puppet show time. Well, in today's video, Jocelyn will be played by Barbie and Sue will be played by Barbie. So, hang on. Help, 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 Jocelyn. I'm drowning in a sea of free shipping materials. Oh, Sue. I shall prove myself to be a true and noble friend and take these valuable shipping materials off her hands and off the rest of her, too. Oh, thank you so much, Jocelyn. I was having visions of number six escaping the village and being chased by giant balloons. It was awful. Number six, the village, giant balloons. What are you talking about? Patrick McGowan, the prisoner, you, you don't know about, are you on drugs? Oh, good heavens, no, it's not even 10 o'clock in the morning. What is she wearing? I don't know, but it looks suspiciously like my favorite bathrobe. Oh, that's weird. We need to get out of here. Starbucks? Yes, I think so. Are we taking her with us? Oh, not a chance. She's not even dressed. Well, maybe we should sneak out before she finds some clothes and starts following us. Yeah, good plan. Okay. Today, we are going to talk about free and low-cost shipping materials and where to get the best rates for shipping. And the bathrobe is because everything we're going to talk about acquiring and doing can all be done without ever getting out of our pajamas. So is that great or what? See you in a minute. Welcome back. Before we get into our discussion of free and low cost shipping materials, there's a little bit of business from a previous video that we need to address, and that is the winner of our giveaway. Now remember, this was the giveaway where I asked you to say something about your dad or Muhammad Ali. Well, I had no idea what I was asking you to do. I just thought I'd get some cute little dad stories. You know, my dad wears Argyle socks, or, you know, my dad sleeps late on Thursdays, no other day, just Thursdays, that sort of thing. What I got was amazing. There were sad stories. There were happy stories. There were tragic stories. There were heartwarming stories. There were beautiful stories. It was just incredible. 2,500 entries. Oh, and by the way, I read them all twice. And it was just an emotional roller coaster ride. Frankly, every last one of them deserved to win. But that's not how contests work, and I had to choose one. And I was just on the point of turning the whole matter over to my cat and saying, fine, here, you pick one. You know, just bounce it around the floor and see which one you like best. And then it occurred to me that one of the quotes by Muhammad Ali that someone had written in was really very apropos of this contest. And that quote was, he who is not courageous enough to take risks will accomplish nothing in life. And that just summed the whole thing up to me because you were all incredibly brave you took an amazing risk. These were public comments. You put yourself out there and that really took a lot of courage. So I wish you could all have won. But I think we're going to go with Muhammad Ali who sort of reached out from the grave and gave you all a serious pat on the back for your courage and your willingness to take risks. The winners of the contest, and there are two, because two people happened to send in the same quote, were Jess Balog, who 
who sent it in first and Jess will win the $50 gift certificate to Cogsworth Gears to Jewel Etsy shop and Maria Bowser who sent in the same quote a day later and Maria we've got just a, a special little second place prize for you. So Jess, Maria, please comment on this video so I can get in touch with you and tell you how to claim your prize. You will each have seven days. So it's like one week from today, you need to get your comment in so that I can get in touch with you. Um, so that's our deadline, seven days to let me know how to get in touch with you so we can get your prizes. Um, in the meantime, fabulous job, everyone. Thank you so very much much and because I really enjoyed this giveaway we're going to start another one tomorrow because I do love giveaways okay on to shipping the first thing I want to show you is this free priority mailboxes I have three separate packages right here in front of me and two more out on the porch that I got in yesterday from the post office. They will give you as many free boxes as you want. That's amazing, isn't it? It's just, it's yours, it's free, it's just there. Now, how do you get them? Well, you need to go to usps.com and open an account. And I'm going to give you a link uh, at, at the bottom. Um, it's, it'll be just below this video. You need to go there and in the upper right hand corner there will be a little button that says sign in or register register open an account with them you might eventually need it for shipping we don't know but you know it's a possibility but it will allow you to get these free boxes you don't need to worry it's the post office they already have your name and address they already know who you are so you're not giving them any information they haven't already got and you just go in. I'm going to give you a specific link that will take you to the free shipping. You go in, free shipping, over 70 items. It includes boxes. It includes labels. There are cremated remains labels. Um, I ordered two. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, but I, I'm telling you, I've got a surprise coming for somebody real soon. That's going to be fun. Cremated remains. I think I'll fill a box full of sand and really spook someone. i got to give that some thought. These boxes come in a wide variety of sizes. And by the way, when you order them, you can get sampler packages. It's like four or five boxes in different sizes. So that if you're not really familiar with what you need, you know, you can take a look, just sort of shop around and say, well, I like this size, that size is not working for me, and, and pick and choose. And this should cover about 80 to 90 percent of your postal needs for selling resale items on Etsy. Um, in fact, if you're selling resale items from thrift shops in general, whether it's Etsy, eBay, or if you're doing it through another service, or if you're just doing it privately, it should cover about 80 to 90 percent of your shipping needs. So what happens if you need larger boxes? Well, before I get to that, I'm going to show you some boxes that I get. These are not free. These are boxes that I purchase. This is a, a small size box, um, six by four by four. And I pay about 60 cents a piece for this. So why would I do that? Well, because it'll save me a lot more. Let me show you. This is the USPS's smallest box size. This is it. They do not get any smaller than this. This weighs almost four ounces. This weighs two ounces. Now, if I have a package that is, um, let's say it's 11 ounces. If I put it in this, it's 15 ounces. 15 ounces will not ship out at a first class rate. First class stops at 13 ounces. It will ship out first class in this box. 
So that will save me the difference in cost between a first class package, which at 13 ounces is probably going to be about $5, give or take. Priority, even small flat rate, is going to be close to seven. It'll save me $2. If I'm providing free shipping, buying this box for 60 cents saved me $1.40. In some cases, the savings are even greater than that. But that's just an example because I wanted to give you a specific example. Um, also, you notice there's a different size here. Um, this is a great little box, but you can't put a cup in it. I can put a cup in this one. So it makes sense for that purpose, too. So there are times when you might want to buy your own boxes. Now, I get these, as I said, 60 cents. Um, and I get them from walmart.com. Um, I get my bleach, my laundry detergent, my toilet paper. I've got a laundry list of things I get from walmart.com because they ship it to my door in these huge, wonderful boxes. And because they ship by UPS, it goes from the factory to the UPS truck to my door. And it's fabulous. The boxes come, I've never had a Walmart box come crushed or torn or destroyed. They always come in near perfect condition. And even though your buyers might balk at you sending a small item, you know, in a used box, I know as a buyer that always gives me pause. But then again, I've gotten items in Cheerios boxes. Um, I, I once got a radiometer wrapped in bubble wrap. Now, a radiometer is a small glass object wrapped in bubble wrap stuffed into one of those gray plastic Walmart shopping bags tied at the top with a label slapped on the side. I mean, it, it arrived fine. It was intact. But, you know, you really have to wonder about what's going on in a seller's head when that's how they, they decide they're going to ship out items. Buyers may balk at used boxes for small items when the post office will hand them off to you for free. But for large items, no. They usually understand that large boxes can be hard to come by. Well, they're certainly not hard to come by if you use Walmart.com. Um, very easy to come by. $35 worth of merchandise or more ships out for free. Big box. You can reuse that box. This is the same stuff you would be buying if you walked into Walmart and just bought it off the shelves. And let's face it, we are all buying stuff at Walmart. Everybody shops there. Why not? But that's not the best part. All right. Let me see what we got here. Here. This came in my last Walmart box. I've got that. Nope, not done. More. All right, there we go. Can you imagine what I could pack with that? This is brand new air pillows. This comes from the air pillow machine right in the Walmart warehouse, from the machine to my box. It's brand new when I get it. The same as if I had simply purchased air pillows from Walmart. It would be the same process. They would take it off the machine, they would shove it in a box, they would drop it off at my door. Perfect, beautifully reusable shipping materials. And they're air pillows, so they are high quality shipping materials too. Air pillows weigh nothing, they are my favorite stuffers for little boxes. Um, oh. Amazon, they like the green ones, at least at my local Amazon warehouse. Green air pillows from Amazon, free. This, this whole roll of bubble wrap I got from a recent Walmart order. Perfect, brand new. They didn't even wrap anything in it. They just kind of shoved it in between the, the spaces, between a couple of items. Another thing I get stuffed in my boxes is this craft paper. Um, they scrunch it up and they stick it in. I take it out and it's perforated every eight inches. So I just fan fold it like this 
and then I have craft paper. So what am I going to do with that? Well, what if I have my priority box and I want to mail it out ground shipping instead? Now, ground shipping is the shipping that, that um, it used to be known as first class, but that's the first class version for larger than 13 ounces. You wrap the box in craft paper. Um, is it okay with the post office? Well, I've asked more than a dozen postal workers and the ones who didn't just outright laugh at me to begin with um, were very clear about it. They said, we are not ripping paper off your boxes to see where your shipping boxes come from. If you have a Walmart prior, or Walmart, I'm sorry, USPS priority box and it's wrapped, how are we ever even going to know? One of the supervisors at a local post office had said to me, look at it this way. Suppose you pack something in a Walmart, or Walmart, see I did that again, in a USPS priority box, and for some reason you change your mind and you decide you want to ship it out first class. Do you really think we expect you to rip open that box, take it, it's a perfectly good brand new box, and just throw it away unused, go dredge up another box, stick your stuff in that, and then use that to mail it out? So we all live on the same planet. So of course, wrap your box in brown paper, take it to the post office. It's not a problem. So what is a problem? Well, an abuse of boxes would be if, for example, I had a grocery store and I decided I was going to pack my customers' groceries in boxes and I was going to get those boxes for free from the post office. No, they wouldn't like that. And in fact, recently, um, a young woman posted something, I don't know if it was Facebook or Instagram, about how she had moved her entire household with USPS postal boxes. That's something that can get you in trouble. That I am not advocating. In most cases, you're not going to want to take a priority mailbox and rewrap it to ship it first class because in most cases that ground shipping, that's the one that's for over 13 ounces, is almost the same as priority. And priority has the additional advantage of carrying automatically $50 in insurance. And if the cost is virtually the same, one is going to get to your customer in two days, whereas the other may might take five or six. No, if the difference is 20 cents, Oh, for heaven's sake, pay it. It's $50 worth of insurance, faster delivery time. It just doesn't make sense not to use priority. In most cases, that is what I do. And when I want to ship something smaller, under 13 ounces, I use my own boxes because they are lightweight and they will save me more money. And that's usually because I'm offering free shipping and it's my money I'm saving. Now, to be honest with you, if it were my buyer's money, I would do the same thing because uh, it just doesn't make sense to throw your money away. So we've got our boxes. Um, we've got our shipping materials. Now what? Well, one of the things we need to look at is shipping costs because it's not all the same. There was a time when shipping costs were fixed, that it was one of the most fixed commodities on the planet. You had to take your package to the post office, the post office weighed it, they charged you a standard rate, that was it, that's what you paid. Not anymore. The post office has two rates. The in-store rate, which is, well, relatively speaking, it's high. It's one of the highest rates we're gonna discuss here. Then their online rate, which is less expensive, but still high. Um, you have eBay's rate, which by the way, is the same as PayPal's rate, which is low. And you have Etsy's rate, which is lower than the post office online rate. Um, and for some things, it's the same as eBay and PayPal, but for others, it's higher. You probably already have a PayPal account. Did you know you can ship through your PayPal account? It's very easy. 
you sign into PayPal, you go to their main menu, there's a little nav bar across the top, and right in the middle, there's a little button that says Tools. You click Tools, and you pull down a menu, and one of the options is Multi-Order Shipping. Now, this used to be a very difficult system to operate. I, I remember when I first started learning how to do that. Oh, it was complicated. They've revamped it. They have made it very user-friendly. You just type in your information. When you're done, you click Done. They bill you out of your PayPal account. It's there. You have the account. They have the best rates. There are no surcharges like with proprietary services like stamps.com or whatever. It's just, it's there. It's your PayPal account. It's free. It's yours. Um, I don't see any reason not to use it. And um, because I recently was checking rates against Etsy, I found that, um, and this is just random, uh, so I found that in shipping out a dozen boxes, half of them were the same rate as PayPal, and for the other half, Etsy was more expensive than PayPal. So selling on Etsy means that I am not going to be using Etsy's shipping service, not even when it's the same as PayPal. And the reason for that is I, I'm like everybody else. I tend to get lazy and fall into habits, and that's not a habit I want to fall into, especially knowing that half the time I'm, I'm really spending money I don't need to. I can save money by going over to PayPal. Now, we've discussed this before. In order to do this, you have to have a postal scale, and they're about $10 to $15, and you have to have a home printer. Last week, I checked Walmart, and I found seven printers uh, for under $40. Some of them were printer back scanners, which are very useful. So this is something that will pay for itself. And the reason why is to be able to use any of these services, whether it's eBay, Etsy, PayPal, anything, you have to be able to weigh your own items and print your own labels. Even if you use the USPS.com website and, and purchase your postage online, you still have to be able to weigh it and print out that label. Otherwise, you have to go into the post office and you have to pay top rates. So it would be nice if we could find a way for you to avoid that because it really does add up. I've seen differences of two or three dollars on a single small package. I cringe to think of what a large package or an overseas package would be like when you just extrapolate. So boxes, shipping materials, craft paper if we have to send out first class, where to go to get our small boxes, walmart.com. They're going to give us big boxes. When they ship out our small boxes, they're going to stuff them full of free packing materials. Final step, because remember I said you could do everything in your pajamas, and I'm going to include this in a link too. You go to the post office's website, usps.com and then you're going to go over to their quick links and you're going to say schedule a pickup. You tell the post office to come pick it up, they pick it up at your door. The whole process in your pajamas. But I do have to give you a caveat because my mail carrier is fabulous. She really is. Uh, I'm, my goodness, she was just born to be a postal worker. She just, she's so good. I trust her with anything I'm putting in the mail. Jocelyn has caught her mail carrier standing in the back of his truck, throwing boxes out into the street. If you have confidence in your mail carrier, have them pick up your stuff at your door. If you don't, go through the rest of the process, but drop your things off at the post office. Unfortunately, that's what Jocelyn has to do. That's the luck of the draw. I have a great mail carrier. She doesn't. I feel very sorry for her, but not enough to trade my Jessie for her mail carrier. 
that's just not going to happen. I like having a good nail carrier. All of this, most of it's free. All of it can be done from your own home. If you have transportation issues, if you're older, if you have trouble getting around, if you have disabilities, if chronic illness, that won't stop you. You can do all of this. You can get online. You can sell. And obviously, there are ways that we can sort this out to make life easy, and we can keep right on selling. So, thank you so much for your time. I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be our how-to video. And as a quick PS, for those of you who have been following Jocelyn's personal vlog, she's in Canada. I have Bird. So I might be able to include Bird in a video. All right. See you later.